Okay, so in our previous session, we have seen that uh, basic GUI in answers. Uh, what are the features are available over here? So uh, right from the title bar and uh, main menu and toolbox and some other options also we have discussed in our today's session, we have seen about units. So units is the most uh, important thing in any software, not only a CA software or uh, it may be a design software, a unit system most important thing so before enter into that particular topic or uh, any project so we need to set the unit system right uh, you know in this video we will detailly explain about what are the uh, options are available in unit system how can I uh, define a user defined units and as well as how can I export that particular units to an another computer and how can I import an unit system from an another computer so that is also be uh, covered in our today's session. Okay, so before I enter into that particular topic, I am Ranjit. So you are watching Simulation Tech. Okay, so units options is available uh, next to the tools. So in main menu, so next to the tools, you have an option called units. So just click on the units. Now you have a uh, five to six unit system over here. So SI unit metric in kg meters and metric in tons. Uh, us customary and us engineering and metrics also so you have a uh, six different types of units whatever the units you need you just click on that particular unit system so that unit system is uh, set it as a current units for the entire project right so now i have uh, set up the metric kg and meter as a current unit system so if you want the additional uh, unit system that does not take place over here so just click on the unit system over here so unit system dialog box will be opened so in this dialog box you can notice that uh, you have a different uh, uh, around uh, 17 unit systems are available over here so whatever the unit system you need you can select from here also the reason why only a six unit system is uh, displayed over here is all the remaining unit systems are suppressed so see you have an option called suppress all the remaining six unit systems are suppressed for example uh, if you want to display the design modular unit system in that main menu so just click on unsuppress so i have unticked that option so now it is unsuppressed and say close now if i click on the units so i have an option called design modular unit system so whatever the unit system you need you just need to unsuppress from that unit system itself so then only it can be access in main menu itself or else you can select from here itself also so if you don't want uh, any of the unit system over here so i don't want that uh, uh, for example us customary so i just click on suppress so that option will be deleted from the main menu itself right so in some cases uh, you don't actually use all the unit system but you need a user defined unit system how can i select uh, how can i create a user defined unit system so that is also possible so i need to change uh, some of the values in that meter in metric kg meters so what i will do is i just click on duplicate so if i say duplicate see a custom unit system will be created so what i will do is i just rename that particular unit system so just double click on it and say this is a user defined unit system so i'll say uh, named as a user defined and i can change so i need an angle in degree and uh, length in mm so and masses in kg okay so uh, temperature in kelvin so likewise whatever the unit system you need to uh, change so you can change from here and if you say close so that un uh, user defined unit system will be uh, available so if i say close now if i access to the unit system see and user defined unit system is created so if you want to use this particular unit system for your project just click on that user defined now it is set as a uh, current unit system right and you have an option called delete also see here you have an option called delete but you can't delete that uh, default unit systems like this 17 unit system is a default unit system you can't delete that particular unit system but you can delete that user defined unit system for example this user defined uh, unit system is created by ourselves so i can delete this so i don't want this unit system right now so i can delete this unit system and say okay and uh, it prompts me an error so because uh, this unit system is currently in use 
so uh, what i will do is i just uh, change the unit system to metric kg meters and again go to unit system so uh, and say i don't want this unit system i just select this unit system uh, and say delete so now that particular unit system will be deleted see uh, we will have a remaining 17 unit system right so what is the options like import and export so if you want to export a particular unit system so for example uh, i have a user defined unit system or else i need to export this particular unit system to another computer i can say uh, i have an option called export so if i say export see uh, that unit system is saved in the format of dot xml format and uh, so you need to select that uh, whatever the location you need to save that particular file after that you can save that particular file so that file can be universally acceptable uh, if you want to save this user defined uh, unit system in your system to a office colleague or whatever it is uh, you can just send that particular xml file to them and that person can import that particular file using import option and that import option prompts to select dot xml format so whatever the location you save just go to that particular location and select that particular file and say open so that uh, unit system will be imported or added to your unit system you can use that as a current unit system all right so that is all about uh, unit system uh, hope you will understand about what is that uh, duplicate and delete and import and export options works in ansys workbench and if you are liking that video so please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so we will meet on next video 